Uh, up first, uh, Ava, is Salesforce, which could uh, also offer insight into the IT spending environment as well as the AI appetite. Critical report for the company after the stock tumbled 20% uh, following its previous earnings results, reporting a challenging economic environment. What do you say about Salesforce, Ava? So we have it as a hold. It's uh, interesting to see what's going to happen today with their earnings announcement. I think most investors, including us, are focused on their AI. There are very high AI growth expectations built in. We'll see if the company delivers. But most importantly, this is a company that has been flat in, in terms of stock performance year to date, but their fundamentals have been nowhere like flat. And I think the company is not receiving the respect it should. Their revenues have increased by five times over, since the pre-COVID levels, and their profits have increased 15 times since pre-COVID levels. So these are great statistics. And from a valuation point of view, uh, their valuation metrics are half their peers. For example, their enterprise value to EBITDA is 25 compared to 50. We'll see what happens today with have it as a whole uh, until the, today's earnings announcement, which can be a catalyst to move the stock up or down. Hmm. It's going to be a significant day for them. Okay, Ava, next up we have Chewy stock, which is just soaring after beating profit estimates. It beat them by a, a wide margin here. The company's also offering upbeat guidance, shares up 77% in just three months and up 15% today almost. Ava, what's your view on Chewy? We have it as a buy. We actually own the stock and we really like them. The company turned the corner in terms of prof profitability last year. They used to lose up, up to 300 million. They're now making 125 million. And it's always very exciting for us and as investors to see a company move from being unprofitable to being profitable. We believe their business model has been verified. There's proof of concept here. Their revenue growth is averaging 11% per year and it's five times the, the rest of the category, and they have widened their margins by an extraordinary 9% from 20% to 29%. It's also a bargain in terms of valuation with their enterprise value to revenue, which is 0.9 compared to 1.3 for the rest of the category. And I think there is a proof of concept here. The, the, the value proposition has been verified as people are buying more and more pets, and we, think, we see things continuing this way in the future. Very interesting. All right, our final name uh, is Coles, also out this morning. A sales miss here. However, forward guidance was uh, strong. It's been a mixed bag for retail amid a weaker consumer environment. Coles down 30% this year. Your trade on Coles. Is now a time to buy it? No, we have it as a sell. The revenue growth has been negative in, in uh, five out of the last six years. And their earnings from continuing operations, and that's the most important statistic, has been on a steady decline in the last 10 years. The revenue outlook was uh, updated from negative from a range of negative 2 to negative 4% to a new range of negative 4 to negative 6%. So the management is pessimistic in terms of the growth outlook going forward. And, and I think the core business model here is flawed. We see other retailers also going through the same issues uh, as e-commerce is getting bigger and bigger. We, don't, we are not optimistic in terms of the long-term future for the company. If it's a buy, it will be a very short-term buy, but we have it as a sell. Ava, we thank you. As always, you know your stuff and you deliver it in a fun way. Ava Ados, we appreciate it.